so welcome guys <coughs> today we are going to discuss a very important problem this problem is very important because here involves a very good stereo chemistry you will learn a lot about stereo chemistry from this problem this problem came in CSIR exam 2011 it is a four marker question so what is given here is that this is a compound this is a agile compound which is treated with this condition triphenyl phosphine water and then CBZ which will uh, form a compound A and then this com that compound will be treated with uh, mercuric mercuric acetate mercuric diacetate followed by sodium borohydride reduction this is oxymercuration demercuration reduction this will give compound B so we have to identify the compound A and B okay so in the first case um, when a agite compound is treated with triphenyl phosphine in presence of water this is called Staudinger reduction the reaction is called Staudinger reduction which reduces this uh, agite group to amine group uh, here I will not discuss the detailed mechanism of the reaction you can find this reaction in my other video by clicking the link which appear above so let's start the reaction so Staudinger reduction of this compound will give this amine compound this agide will reduces to this amine okay and now when this amine is treated with this CBZ chloride that is carboxybenzoyl chloride it N will be protected as carboxybenzyl so this will give the compound this so it can be written like that this is called the carboxybenzoyl group so CBZ group is basically COOBN this is the carboxybenzyl group this we called so this we called CBZ okay so this now when it is treated with ox mercuric diacetate and number one mercuric diacetate second sodium borohydride if you uh, don't do the mechanism and just uh, knowing the oxymercuration demercuration reaction you will uh, write this one but here it will not be the product because in this case presence of this group will do some other reaction so product will be something else so in this reaction the stereochemistry is very important and we will now discuss this so first we have to consider the oxymercuration reaction so oxymercuration reaction of this double bond will keep this compound now here involves the stereochemistry so this is a bulky ncbz group which is above the plane okay with respect to this double bond this is in plane and this uh, bulky nh2 cb cb nh cbz group is above the plane so mercury mercury will attack from below the plane and this mercury mark uh, this cation will be generated okay uh, cyclic cation this uh, mercurinium we can say mercurinium cation will be generated now now what is important that this step is very important because we, you have to consider from which phase the mercury will attack it can attack from above phase and below phase but the, due to the presence of this bulky group it will attack from the below phase now what happens that in normal condition when there is no nucleophile present uh, reaction of this with water will give the alcohol but in this case there is a nucleophile present here this nitrogen is nucleophilic so it will attack here but we know that it has to attack the lumo of this CAG bond the lumo of the CAG bond here is above the plane okay and it is it is also above the plane so it has not it has not the right alignment here so we have to rotate the bonds to get the right alignment so for this we will first rotate this bond like this when we rotate this bond it will be it will be placed the position of this methyl group so it will take the position of this methyl group here and the methyl group goes below so this is the methyl group goes below 
and hydrogen will hydrogen will come above so hydrogen comes above and now we have to rotate this one also okay so we rotate this bond we rotate this bond such a way that it goes uh, it goes it goes it goes in such a position that is this bond become anti to this nh 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 cbz group okay so this is nh cbz group and we have to place this bond anti to this so for this we have to place this to this position so we have to rotate this bond okay we have to rotate this not this bond we have to rotate this bond okay we have to rotate this bond in such a way we have to rotate this bond in such a way that it take the it takes the place of this bond okay and here we write that this this bond here takes the position of this one and so it will take the position of hydrogen so it, it will come above the plane and hydrogen will be below the plane so hydrogen goes below so here this rotation we have to be very careful in this case we have to be very careful for for rotation of this bond because the whole stereochemistry of the reaction is dependent on this step so now we have this arrangement and now as you can see this lumo this lumo and there is a lumo both these two lumo and this lumo is perfectly aligned for attack of this nh in uh, in lone pair in a nucleophilic substitution to manner to give this compound okay so this step is crucial so this will attack and this will be formed so as we can see the stereochemistry is such that the, in the product the stereochemistry is that this methyl group is one methyl group is below the plane and when this is treated with sodium borohydride it will reduce this bond to form this one okay to form this one and mercury will be precipitated this is a re radical reaction which we will not discuss here okay we will discuss in other other video and uh, this is the this is the product we, we will get so in this product one methyl group is below the plane and one is above the plane so the reaction is very important in terms of stereochemistry stereochemistry so these two steps the attack of mercury which from which phase it will attack and the rotation of this bond we have to be very careful so uh, this is the whole story hope you enjoy the video and sorry we have we are, i did a mistake in doing uh, explaining this actually you have to consider the rotation of this this bond okay you have to consider the rotation of this bond not this bond okay this is fixed as you can see this bond is fixed we have to rotate this bond such a way that this arrangement is here uh, other things i have said is completely correct but only the thing is that this bond is to be rotated so this arrangement is very important here and this is the whole reaction so if you like the reaction then please give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel